guys so in today's video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be doing another wish video if you guys don't know what wish is it's just basically an app where you can buy pretty much anything for pretty inexpensive they have really random stuff on there you guys and me this is the most random thing but that's because I don't personally wear wigs on a regular basis, so this is definitely going to be a different video for me, and hopefully it will be a little bit helpful and informational for people out there who are serious about going out and buying their wigs from Wish. I know for a fact that hair usually costs quite a bit of money, especially if you're going to get real human hair, and some synthetic wigs can range up to like $200, $300. I don't know a ton about wigs, but I've definitely worn extensions and things like that, and I know it can be very pricey, so I can totally see why this type of a video is very important for a lot of people who are trying to get the wigs so I'm gonna try to be as in-depth as possible but again I am not very knowledgeable about wigs I actually uploaded this video before but I had to refilm it a lot of people were mentioning that I cut off the top part of my head so that it couldn't tell the hairline that's like a really important part of the wig so I'm gonna try my best to show you guys every angle of the wig so I'm gonna go ahead and get started the very first wig here I have is this looks like a really cute pink ombre wig let me see if I can pull up a picture really quick though so we can kind of get both perspectives okay so I found it here I'm gonna go ahead and insert the picture here of what it it's supposed to look like it looks like I paid eight dollars here and plus of course whatever the shipping was this looks like actually a really cute wig I can actually see myself wearing if I were to ever wear a wig I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see how it goes okay so just looking at the wig here this is actually really pretty it's really curly so it definitely to me doesn't look like the curls in the picture because in the picture it looks very wavy not so much like tight ringlet type curls but I'm gonna go ahead and try this bad boy on. Let me go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so this is the first wig here. As you guys can tell, it looks nothing like the picture. <laughs> can we talk about the hairline for a second? I think this is how all the wigs are gonna be, to be honest. But I know there's ways where you can definitely pluck out some of the hairs and make this look a lot softer of a hairline. But there's literally like this black like lining right here. So I feel like it really gives away that wig type of vibe like that's not even the hair cap or anything like that but it's just super super curly so I would have to brush these curls out but I feel like even then it would just still not look quite like the picture these curls are so tight the hair actually doesn't feel very long like my real hair seems a lot longer than this so I mean it's definitely fun if you're looking for this kind of a wig I don't know who has this kind of hair but I'm sure people will let me know in the comments people are always like you look like this person from this movie and I'm like oh I don't know this is definitely a pass from me <laughs> y'all who is she <laughs> I Honestly, I'm not mad at this wig. Like, before I put it on, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit skeptical and I was not feeling her vibes, but <laughs> I'm kind of just living this weird, like, I feel like I'm a different person. Like, I could have like a double life type of vibes. <laughs> so I'm a little bit shook, but so far, I honestly think this is a pretty good one. The hairline and everything, I'll give you a close up in a second, but I don't think it looks bad at all. And it actually feels like really thick. It feels so bad as like a person's hair until they start feeling around and they feel like your ponytail but yeah this is what she's looking like okay like I don't know who this is but like I don't mind it how much I paid so I paid eight dollars again for this one plus paid shipping separate so the shipping is how they always get you guys if you haven't ordered from wish before they basically really overcharge with the shipping because they're shipping from overseas and you have to pay shipping per item so yeah I mean in the picture I think her curls are a little bit more defined but I mean I feel like they pretty much nailed it I mean this actually reminds me of my natural hair except a lot less frizzy okay so this is just like a little quick angle of what the top looks like okay so this one is the next one unfortunately it's no longer available it looks like on wish I think just sometimes the vendors I guess they just run out of the item I'm not really sure I'm gonna put a screenshot of like what the item is here but whenever I click on it it just says that an error occurred while loading and to try again so I'm not really sure how to fix that I don't think this is a horrible wig I like the quality of it, it feels nice and thick and it's really long from what I can tell from the tiny little picture I'm sure that those are not the same wig but I do really like the color of this one the main thing would have to be the hairline but if you guys know how to fix this like I'm sure you could make this work I just think this isn't doing me any type of favors to be completely honest so yeah that's my two cents this is giving me like the old me type of vibe the long wig you guys with my hairline cut off I feel like this wig looks 
super good. It feels really soft and nice. It is, however, shedding quite a bit. A lot of hair just came out there, barely pulling on it. So that's kind of a downer. And then of course the hairline. <laughs> and of course I, again, don't know much about wigs. So if you guys know, definitely educate me, but how do you fix this? <laughs> because this is just a definite no for me. I mean, like it tried, but like, what is this? Like, why does it stop right here? Like, I don't really understand it. But yeah, I would definitely wear like a beanie with this or something if I was trying to like fool somebody and be like, I went darker. So on this one, it looks like I paid $13 and it literally says it used to cost $199. I mean, like, yeah, it feels really thick and like, okay. But I mean, it's really not bad though. Like, I think people could definitely make this work. I just don't know if I'm one of those people. So. Okay, this is the next one, you guys. This one does have a lace front so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one and then put it on for you guys okay so one thing I'm just gonna point out really quickly is that this actually has a really weird smell to it but other than that it's a really really long like thick full wig um, I'm just trying to figure out how to make this look right to be honest this is what the top looks like here so it had a lace front like I said so it's kind of nice because it made it look a lot more real however it doesn't have a built-in part so you kind of have to figure out where you want your part but i just feel like it's making it appear a little bit messy and not as pretty as i wanted it to be i think this could actually work and be very passable if you were to spray it with some dry shampoo and of course under these bright lights everything looks a lot more synthetic because it's showing off the sheen and the shine of the hair so yeah i mean if you are looking for like a nice long bleach blonde one i guess this is the one this this one was definitely a little bit pricier than the other wigs that I've showed you so far and it actually kind of looks like the picture so that's kind of nice I just think I need to brush it or something but yeah overall really nice look at how freaking long this is though like on a real note this goes way past the boobs I wish my hair was this long but yeah if I could just figure out how to kind of work and maneuver the top part I think this could definitely work I know some of y'all can make this look a lot better <laughs> okay guys so this is the next one I'm actually like not mad at this wig at all like I I think I would actually try to pull this off if I just knew how to figure out the hairline and I think out of all the hairlines we've looked at today this is probably one of the better ones in my opinion it actually feels pretty good quality like it doesn't feel too artificial but yeah if you guys are looking for like a silver gray blonde faded type of wig I think this is actually a really good one this is probably one that I would actually really recommend to you guys paid $13 for it this is what the picture here looks like I mean like kind of close ish I don't know if this is my hair color of choice but you know just to show you guys another option here I don't know I kind of really like it and I'll get up a nice and close and personal yeah show you again this is the roots here if you could just figure out how to pull out the baby hairs I think you'd be good to go but yeah guys so this is actually the last one for today's video I do have a whole bunch more wigs that I bought just for this video so if you want me to do a part two definitely let me know down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm putting out videos once a week. I'm going to go ahead and try and do more than that, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.